Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Netress Windows Worm. Now this worm, instead of spreading over email, spreads over locally networked computers. So we'll go ahead and run it. And it appears not to have done anything, not anything that the average user would notice. And if you look in the root directory, we have this new file, v1.log. We try to open it with notepad. Where are you, notepad? There you are. You can see it tried to display some Russian characters and you can see it just renamed some files and this is basically just a log of what it did and as you can see it renamed the file this dot doc and then a whole bunch of spaces dot exe which would try to hide the exe extension so copy name equals virtual machine additions folder sharing let's see Microsoft Network Workgroup Daniel PC We'll see if we can find some of these files. I haven't had much luck finding them before. Let's see. Virtual Machine Additions? No. Virtual Machine Additions Folder Sharing. So where would that be, do you think? Well, anyway, before we go searching for those, we'll look at one crucial thing in Windows 95 and 98. As System32 is used now, it used the System folder. However, it is mostly empty. All the files that are in use haven't been copied. However, all the files it could get, it moved into this new RESTOP folder for some reason. That's just the worm's main payload. Maybe the Virtual Machine Edition stuff is in here. Why don't we do a search for this extension? Cause I'm not sure the Russian characters would show up like that. Alright. Find files and folders. St star. Get on there. Okay. Look in C colon. Find now. There we go. So as you can see, should be an EXE. Maybe not. I guess it didn't like the spaces. So it just found a bunch of documents. Oh well. So it does drop some files that contain the worm body. However, we're not going to find them apparently. So when we restart, the average user would notice that all the files were moved from the Windows system directory. So now, Windows can't start up because it's missing a bunch of files. Yeah, let me. Oh, I guess I can't adjust like that. Okay, we'll move the virtual machine in the center. So even if you try to move C colon slash windows slash rest stop slash star dot star C colon slash windows slash system, it'll try. It'll try and move all these. Some of them it won't be able to move. Unable to open source. I'm sure there's some way you could tediously move all the files back and somehow get Windows to still boot up. However, I haven't had much luck with that. So, besides this method, which doesn't accomplish anything, just gotta wait for it to finish moving. There we go. Now if we try to boot into Windows, it'll can't find device and try to keep loading, can't find all these drivers. And then eventually you run out of memory because it's trying to find all these. So this is a pretty irritating error that keeps popping up every time you try to fix the worm's damage. So it would be much simpler just to reinstall the operating system from scratch. So that's about it for the Netris Windows Worm.